Hi, I'm Lois. I'm the coordinator for the Leanna Flandemeyer Beanstalk Children's Garden. The mission of the garden is to connect youth with the food they eat and the plants that we grow in our garden through a sensory experience. So come with me and enjoy the garden. Now we're in the herb garden. I just want to show you a few of my favorite herbs when you come visit. Be sure to stop by and see the lavender. All you need to do is touch the leaves gently and then smell. Oh, so beautiful. Now we're going to stop at the borage. If you come over, be sure and pick a flower. They're edible and they taste like cucumbers. So delicious. Mmm, friends, so good. So has anybody ever had chamomile tea? This is the chamomile plant. This is where they use the flowers to make the tea that relaxes us and makes us sleepy. Be sure and look at the bronze fennel and see if you can spot a caterpillar they love to eat the bronze fennel. If you can't find one on the bronze fennel, you can always come down to the dill. They love to eat the dill as well. Don't see any today. Maybe there'll be one when you get here. Come on over here. I want to show you another plant that we call a vegetable, but it's in reality a fruit. Check out these beautiful yellow flowers right here. These are the flowers of a zucchini squash. And you know it's a fruit because it emerges right out of the flower. Now we are in the curiosity section of the beanstalk garden and I will be talking about the sensitive plant. The sensitive plant is very sneaky. When you touch it, it folds together and droops up, kind of like it looks dead. This is a defense mechanism in nature so that when a animal comes to try and eat the tasty looking leaves, when the animal touches it, it looks sad, so the animals will leave and go and find different leaves. The sensitive plant wins. We say that we're pretty corny at the garden because we grow a lot of different kinds of corn. And one of the things I like to show you is the way they look different and the way they look the same. So corn grows on a cob. It grows in rows. It has little kernels. The rows are pretty much, except for sometimes when they're funny, they're pretty much straight and you can see them. So we have all of these that are growing in our garden. We have popcorn, dent corn, which is made in corn syrup. You know those blue corn chips that you get at the grocery store? Hopi blue corn. And then just for fun, in the fall, when you set your holiday table, you might use some of our glass gym corn. But that's just a few of the things that we have. We have oats that are growing for oatmeal cookies. We have buckwheat, which is great for pancakes. Who likes hummus and garbanzo beans? These are chickpeas. They are the same as garbanzo beans. We have peanuts, which are pretty interesting plants because they're, they grow underground, but they bloom above ground. It's too early to see any of the blooms, so you'll have to come back and visit that later. 
Hello and welcome to one of the tastiest parts of the garden in my opinion. So we are in the orchard section of our garden. All right, so if you wanna follow me this way, we'll get to the blackberries. So we've got all of our blackberries here. They're delicious, they're sweet, um, and they're kind of fun to see. You can see all the different stages of them. So first, you get a nice little flower. And then you start to develop berries. So they'll start as green berries. They'll turn red. You can see over here. And then they'll get to turn black as they ripen. Let's see if we can find a good one. This one back here looks delicious. And they just slip right off. Mm. Pretty delicious, you'll have to come try one. Hello guys, welcome to my favorite part of the Bean South Children's Garden. This is my favorite part because of the waterfall that you guys can hear in the background. It's so peaceful and just so much serenity when you come out here. You can sit on the bench and you can enjoy the water lilies. Sometimes you may see a frog or two. And one of my other favorite things about this garden is this banana plant. I love it because you can actually take the leaf of this, put your food in it, and wrap it up as a cooking vessel and bury it. And it's like a pot in the ground that you can cook your food in. So please come out, join us, um, take a tour of the Children's Green Sky Garden.